does it say about our society when we commemorate Anzac Day for a single day, yet we get a whole month of Pride? Now, what is Pride Month? Well, in case you've been living under a rock or you haven't wandered past your local council chambers to see it lit up in rainbow colours or logged onto your bank portal to see the rainbow logo or trudged into your office lunchroom to be forced to eat a rainbow cupcake, Pride Month is a four-week campaign from the corporate sector. We were all told to celebrate the sexual preferences of a small minority of the population at the risk of excommunication from polite society should we refuse. And I'm here to tell you that being sceptical about this and the motives of this exercise in cor corporate rainbow washing doesn't make you a bigot or a homophobe. It just makes you someone who wants to watch the footy without getting another political message jammed down your throat. Rational people scratch their heads at the concept of having to publicly celebrate one's sexuality with BDSM displays, especially for an entire month. And as I said, we don't remember the sacrifices of our fallen Anzacs for an entire month. You know, the Anzacs, the people who fought for this nation, endured the gravest of hardships, the people we honour for one single day. I wonder what they would think about this. Despite what the grievance industry wants you to think, we all support LGBT people and their community, and we want what's best for them. But don't be fooled. This isn't about what's good for LGBT people. This is just another attempt to try and divide Australians on sexuality.